Hi, I'm Scott Jashanik, the Director of Cloud Products here at Avere Systems, and I'm here to answer a question about what is hybrid cloud orchestration. Uh, the concept of hybrid cloud orchestration comes into uh, what happens if I run into a capacity limitation on-prem. Uh, I've used all of my compute cluster environment, no more compute to be had. I can buy some more, I can expand my labs, or I can go into a nice nifty cloud compute environment such as Google Compute Engine uh, where I can, again, build another grid if I wish to, uh, Sun Grid Engine, or I can use open source tools and just create a, a compute cluster on demand, for example, using IPython parallels or something along those lines, uh, and extend my ability to do other jobs in the cloud. The challenge comes into, if I bring these uh, nodes up online and they're scheduled through this local schedule, that's great. However, I need to be able to coordinate what's going on in the cloud. For example, I may have a researcher that submits a job somehow, and that job has to be routed based on perhaps that researcher's budget, uh, the time that they require to complete, the amount of available resources on-prem, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And so that might determine that some jobs might be more amenable to be run in the cloud versus being run in a compute cluster. And I would also argue that you're going to do a whole job in one place. You're not going to spread necessarily the job uh, between because of the wide area networking latencies involved. So orchestration in this particular case would probably be sitting somewhere here, uh, orchestration, like so. Uh, and then the orchestration might prepare to run a job here, or it might prepare to run a job here. And it's probably going to have a component up here or it might have just simply the API callability into GCE, for example, Google Compute Engine. And this orchestration is going to make sure to set up the appropriate number of compute nodes because, again, in the cloud, you don't have to have all your compute sitting there waiting. You can create it on demand and access it. Uh, and then the last part, of course, is uh, I have to get that data from the network attached storage. So in this particular case, you're probably going to want to consider some sort of data access layer uh, that reads data ahead and puts it into memory and SSD, such as what we at Avere Systems have here. We have a, a virtual appliance that can run in GCE, anchor these compute nodes, and grab the data from the network attached storage. Uh, and then once the data starts, once this comes active and these nodes come active, uh, the orchestration layer can notify that the job's ready to run. And then at the end of the day, that's really what we're talking about when we talk about hybrid cloud or orchestration. Thank you very much.